Are you a yes person? Do you find yourself frequently putting others' needs before your own? A life without healthy boundaries could mean rarely saying no to other people's requests and putting their feelings and wants before your own. And though disguised as an act of kindness or selflessness, you might be letting the importance of your own self-care slide to the back burner. My name is Ashley Mush, and I'm an employee well-being specialist at Mayo Clinic and a certified health and wellness coach. There are many benefits to setting boundaries or limits to your time and energy. Some of these include greater self-esteem and sense of identity, taking better care of yourself, having the energy to do things that you enjoy, and to ultimately help you set the tone for what you want your life to look and feel like. So how do you get there? Here are five strategies that I want to share with you to establish limits or boundaries in your life, which may help prioritize your own personal well-being. One, trust your gut. What are you noticing? Nadra Glover Tawab, a licensed clinical social worker and author of Set Boundaries, Find Peace, shares that there are so many cases of anxiety, depression, and relationship issues that are influenced by a lack of boundaries. Identify how you're feeling and what emotions are involved with your thoughts. For example, when you leave a situation or someone's presence, do you notice you're feeling upset, frustrated, maybe a little confused? This could be a cue that a healthy boundary is lacking. Two, ask yourself what limit needs to be set. A simple approach is to list out what you value most, what you need to foster in that area, and how you plan to do it. An example of this might be something like, I value time spent with my family, so I need to be okay with saying no when I have competing commitments, and I will honor that by staying true to myself and those things that align with my values. Three, communicate your needs and boundaries. Perhaps you're wanting to have an improved sense of flexibility and balance between your work and home life. Let's say a colleague walks in to talk to you about an upcoming project as you're on the way out the door. You might say, I am excited to talk to you more about this project and thank you for sharing this with me. I have to pick up my kids from school right now. Is there a time tomorrow that we can revisit this? Four, practice and make it a habit. James Clear, author of Atomic Habits, once said, your life bends in the direction of your habits. Which way do you want your life to bend and what limits can you set to help you get there? Practice setting limits a little each day and start integrating it into your daily routine. Some examples might be practicing saying no, communicating your boundary, or sleeping on it before committing to something. And five, let go of the guilt. Setting limits is a skill that gets easier with time, sort of like strengthening a muscle. The more that you do it, the more natural it will become and the less guilt you will feel. When you do notice guilt creeping in, tell yourself it's okay to set these limits. You did a great job, even if it was a little uncomfortable to communicate, and setting limits is kind to both you and those around you. Again, it's not always easy to set limits, but check in with yourself often and ask for what you need as it can have a great impact on improving your well-being. Get started by trusting your gut, ask yourself what limits need to be set, communicate your needs and your boundaries, practice and let go of the guilt. You are in control of choosing what you want your life to look like. So get started today and write down one thing that you want to set better limits around and build from there.